Jonathan. Um, you know, Jonathan's making good progress. Uh, unfortunately, the reason we're all here today is uh, our performance staff likes to have a long ramp up back to return to actual play, and that includes, um, um, you know, a, a long period of unrestricted access. Uh, and we're just running out of time on the back end with less than a month left of the season to really realistically expect that to happen now. So that's why we're here today. You know, you talked extensively about Jonathan's work ethic and the, the way he's attacked this rehab. How much do you just feel, you feel for him for, for the amount of work that he's put in? Obviously, you know, he'd probably have loved to, to play this season. Well, our fans know Jonathan Isaac. They know him on the court. They know him off the court. They know what he's about. They know how hard of a worker he is, and they know how much he wants to impact our team, our community, um, our franchise. And, and you know, how much he wants to help his teammates. And so, uh, you know, obviously it's a frustrating uh, process to go through to, to say, like, we were hoping that he would play this season. And as it turns out, it's going to take a little longer than we had originally hoped. But the frustration, the, uh, the obstacles, you have no one, there's no one you'd rather have deal with that than Jonathan Isaac. His patience, his focus his determination and his understanding of keeping the big picture in mind because you know obviously we have uh, um, uh, all of that um, baked into all of these decisions. When exactly did it become clear that you wouldn't be able to return for the rest of the season? Well it, it's really more of like a gradual ramp up and and how much time the performance staff needs to have the player um, involved in um, unrestricted access um, for a given period of time. And it's just more on the back end of that. We're just kind of with less than a month left of the season running out of that runway. So it's not like a, a day that you cross the finish line and say like now. It's just kind of a gradual process and we've arrived at that point. Jonathan told us that he's been able to do half-court uh, contact drills. Like how, I'm going to ask him about how long has he been able to do contact? Because from what I've been told, we've been told he hadn't progressed to contact I think as late as last week. So when did that change? I'm sorry, contact, Kobe. Contact in half-court situations. He said he'd been able to do contact. Last time I asked at least, he wasn't able to do contact at all. Oh, uh, so I guess uh, it's happen. been a little, I don't know exactly, um, but he's, he's, been, he's been playing with uh, contact in half-court for a little while now. And um, obviously, um, that's, that's not the unrestricted access that we refer to when we talk about trying to get him back to an unrestricted state for a, for a lengthening period of time. So um, I couldn't give you an exact answer, Colby, on when exactly he started contact. But it's a gradual process. You know, you go through uh, contact with coaches and, and, and you kind of like, you know, uh, loosen it up to be unrestricted as you, as you move forward. So everything is kind of a gradual ramp up. And, you know, I hate to keep saying it, but we're just on the back end just running out of real estate, you know, to, to, to give him that long runway to get back to the season. So an expectation or even maybe the timeline of when he may progress to the full, uh, the full court or unrestricted access in that sense? Well, I mean, this is like exhibit A of why we don't like to apply timelines, right? Um, but uh, no, I, I couldn't tell you that there's an exact prescription for that. I think like this is um, another example of why you just do the work every day and you kind of let the work and the timeline unroll uh, at its own pace. You know, that's the right way to do it. Jonathan said that there wasn't a setback. Is, it, is that a fair assessment? That there wasn't any one moment that stopped him from coming back here? Yeah, uh, you know, there hasn't been a, a setback. It's more just, uh, you know, a timeline issue. And so um, we were hopeful to get him back on the court this season. Uh, and obviously that that's not going to happen. So we recalibrate our timeline. We, we set our goal for opening night next season. We give ourselves that runway. And, um, you know, we, we do the daily work, and Jonathan really does the daily work, and we just, we just let that develop the way it will. Do you think that if you guys were a playoff team that this decision would change? No, no. We always are going to do what's right for the player, um, and uh, uh, that, that will always come first. And right now, this is, this is the right way to proceed. Jonathan was saying that watching Markel play as well as he's had, he has since he's come back from injury, giving him confidence. Do you kind of sense the same thing that, that gives him an extra spirit going forward? Yeah, I think you know those two have been through a lot uh, individually, and obviously with the timeline being what it is, they've been through a lot together. And you know, they're 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 two great people. They care about one another. They care about the people around them. They want to lift people up. And 
they both have uh, uh, you know a tremendous spirit and a tremendous will to overcome adversity and so you know we always talk about like you bet on the person and you know there's no one that we'd rather bet on you know so um, it's more work ahead it's uh, it's it's uh, it's a new kind of timeline ahead but the but the work remains the same is there, a, is there a sense of frustration with you guys in the front office? Like, I mean, it's out of your control, but I imagine it's very frustrating to see this happen. The only, look, I know there's frustration from, you know, the, the perspective of when's Jonathan going to return and the fans want him back and, you know, everybody wants him to come back. But I promise you, not even close. There's no second place. The, the most frustrated person is Jonathan because he's working hard every day. And the daily grind, the focus, the, um, the, 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 the foraging ahead that he's exhibiting and that he always exhibits is unparalleled. And so we don't look at it as frustration. We look at it as work and we look at it as uh, uh, whatever we have to do to get Jonathan back on the court, that's what we're going to do. And that's what he's going to do. That's who he is. And so, again, um, we come back to who the person is, the ability to stay focused, to continue to, to put in the daily grind. and, and um, the, uh, the other stuff is just kind of gets weeded out. That's, that's emotion. He's got work to do, and he, he approaches it that way. Since the All-Star break, the team has obviously made some sub substantial progress. Uh, from your perspective, what have you seen from the group? I think that, you know, um, we see good progress in our young players. We see uh, the coaching staff, um, you know, beginning to understand, like, who our guys are, and they've, they've developed uh, a way of working with our players, and, and our players feel that, um, there's a bright future ahead of them individually and collectively. And, uh, you know, our team is in a very good place right now. You know, I, I think there's a great uh, belief and spirit amongst our guys. And, um, you know, this is part of the process that we embarked upon last year. And, and, you know, thus far, we've been very pleased with the direction. How's Bull Bull's recovery? I'm sorry? Bull Bull's recovery. How's it going? Bull is working very hard. He's working diligently. He's in every day. He, he himself is ramping up his, his progressions. Um, obviously, you know, he had had his... Uh, he had had a foot uh, uh, operation when, when he got here, so he continues to ramp up. But he's doing good on the court work, and um, you know the, he's he's been great with our staff, both our performance and coaching staffs, and um, you know he's been doing great. What's he been able to do in practice, and do you expect him to return? Well, he's season? just doing individual work right now. Uh, no, he will not return this season. Um, he's just doing individual work right now, and um, you know obviously again we're we're going to be careful with him as we are with everyone and make sure that he. Uh, doesn't skip steps in his rehabilitation. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you, guys.